Hello all, Stacy the Black Feather Intuitive, and welcome to Demystify the Divine Weekly Readings and Tools to Connect. And for this installment, we are doing the Universal Laws. And I always love doing this segment for everyone because I find it fascinating to explore these Universal Laws, and I enjoy the curiosity of learning how I can deepen my practice and figure out this puzzle that is um, our planet and the universe and all of the energies. And I feel very strongly that um, the universal laws can help us with that. So uh, let's see what we got here. Um, this week we've got the law of relativity. You are divinely perfect. Live your truth. So when we're talking about the law of relativity, of course, right away, everybody goes to E equals MC squared. Everybody goes to, um, to Einstein because he really spoke about the law of relativity and, and made it sort of a household um, concept or a household word. Um, what I love about this is when we talk about relativity, it's understanding that we are all one and everything is relative to our oneness and the experience that we're having not only as individuals but the experience that we're having as it's being reflected back to us through the interactions that we have with others and when it says you are divinely perfect live your truth what i feel the message is that's coming through here is there are no mistakes um you need to understand that life is about different experiences and you are going to have um, a different outcomes depending on who you're interacting with, how you're moving forward, what you are um, sharing with other people, with other beings, you know, with your fur babies, um, with nature uh, out in the world, uh, with the rocks and the trees and the brook and, you know, all the things and the stuff. And it's understanding that everything that is happening is happening for a reason it's happening because it's designed in the grand design of things to give you something to grow on give you something to expand and explore into and so many of us especially star seeds and light workers we've come in with this sort of added mission, this added bonus um, in our lives um, that says, I'm here to do bigger things. I'm here to help, or I'm, I'm very much in service. And you know, I, I want to make a difference. Um, because of that, we also can be very driven and we can be driven to perfection right? Seeking perfection. It's not quite right. I didn't do that. Well, I didn't fully succeed at that thing because that person didn't react or respond in the way that I thought they were going to react or respond. Um, and it causes, causes us to not be in our truth. It causes us to distort the reality of what we're in. And the reality of what we're in is there are no mistakes. There are only the experience, the choices that we make and the experiences that we have from, from those, um, from those choices and then what we choose to apply the wisdom we choose to apply that to so the law of relativity is basically saying give yourself permission to just be you know stop judging stop getting in the way of uh, trying to tinker or you know there's nothing wrong with with improving you know with mastery the path of mastery mastery is not perfection mastery is a path to um, elevation, to learning more, to getting deeper into the subject matter, to expanding yourself. Perfection is, I want to say, a limited experience. Um, I don't want to say it's bad or wrong, but it's limiting. And we don't need to be limiting ourselves. There are so many other limitations, perceived limitations, out in the world that, you know, and obstacles that you know, that are placed on our path for us to overcome or not. Um, we don't need to add more limitation to our lives. So the law of relativity says, you know, it's all relative. It's all happening for the grand reason that you're here to have that experience. And there's no specific outcome expected. 
around that experience. That's a judgment that we place upon um, our experiences. The law of relativity says it's all happening for us and through us. So live your truth. Your truth might be different than your neighbor's truth. That's okay. You need to live your truth. And that it's all relative because you having your truth, you have no idea how it may positively affect your neighbor who has a different truth. You don't know. We don't always see the ripple effects that our decisions and our choices have. So really step into that this week and this month. You are divinely perfect. We could also say we are perfectly imperfect. And so live that truth because the perfection is the illusion. Maybe replace perfection with mastery and, and lean into that a little bit more. Uh, let's read what the actual message is on the card and see where, where it's going to take us. You are divinely perfect. Live your truth. What occurs on a microcosm level is what happens on the macrocosm level. Spiritual truth and universal laws are absolute truth. However, they can be individually used for a relative perspective and experience. People are endowed with the individual use of the one mind in the exact portion and distortion they choose at a soul level. Furthermore, your individual reality is in direct relation to the whole. Awaken the oracle within. Any situation where you are experiencing suffering is a blessing in disguise. It is your soul's way of communicating that you are not living in the absolute truth of who you are. Also, it is a divine experience for you to realize what works for you, what does not work for you, and to live in alignment with your relative truth. This test is the great design of the personal factor of life. It is time for you to follow your heart and arrange life in a way that informs universal law into motion. It is time for you to wake up and claim a life of presence, passion, and purpose. Emancipation from suffering is your birthright. So that is our universal law for this month, this week, and some food for thought for you guys. Like and subscribe and click the bell on this YouTube and um, feel free to share it with anyone that you feel would benefit from this type of guidance. Um, it's always a pleasure to connect with you guys on this Demystify the Divine show. And uh, if you're looking for clarity and guidance, I recommend checking out my Phoenix Journeys. Uh, they help get right to the heart of the matter. There's channeling, there's a meditation, there's healing that goes into there, in-depth card pulls and card readings, and the general psychic guidance that comes through. So it's the whole enchilada wrapped up um, in a big pink bow. Um, so feel free to click on the link below to book your session today. I would love to be of service. Have the most amazing week, guys, and transform well.